All right, we are in the 2020 Ford Expedition Max Platinum Edition, otherwise known as a school bus. This thing is Herculean. It is monstrous. It's gargantuan. It's massive. You need like your big gulp to fit in the big cup holder and a big pair of sunglasses and maybe a big hat and some big boots and I'm wearing flip-flops. Oh well. I've been in this vehicle for about a week now and I'm trying to figure out who would want one. I came into this truck thinking, how ludicrous is this? You can fit like 75 people in the back, plus all their luggage and maybe a house. You can tow like 9,000 pounds. It's got a 3.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged V6, 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. It goes. Not really fast, but you know, it scoots. The thing weighs three tons. I used this all week to do truck stuff. You can use it to get groceries. You can take it to donate stuff. You can even take it to the dump. You can take the expedition to get coffee, as long as you fit. Here's what has surprised me. Ford knows how the hell to do trucks. I'm a huge fan of the Raptor. I like the Ranger. We need the Ranger Raptor here in the US. Ford, bring it. But F-150, best-selling vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows all that stuff. This thing is actually pretty amazing. You have a commanding view of the road. If you need to take people someplace, no problem. It's got two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. You can lock the differential. You've got different modes here. Everything from, oh, let's see. We've got normal and eco and sport. Sport. I'm confused about that one, but you have sport. And then you got tow haul and all this different trailer hitch stuff right here, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then you've got mud and ruts. And it just shifted a whole bunch of things with this 10 speed transmission here, 10 speeds. You can't carve up corners. You just can't do that. It's top heavy, right? It's a big, big, long, monstrous thing. You just can't do that. But it's quiet, way more quiet than I thought a truck from Ford would be. Now this is the Platinum Edition, so it's got everything. You know, it's got this big panel roof. It's got heated seats and cooled seats and massaging seats. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like driving 120 mile trip uh, when your butt and your lower back are getting rubbed and heated. Talk about arriving at your destination refreshed. Oh, it's nice. The kicker, for me anyway, is that over the course of almost 400 miles, I average 19.2 miles per gallon. This expedition has honestly made me rethink the idea of performance. Performance as in, what can the vehicle do for you in your ownership experience? What are you going to use it for? Which brings me back to the question I started with. Who would really want one of these? Our daughter used to have a horse. And going to shows, horse shows or horse competitions, this would have been perfect. You can tow a horse trailer. You can throw your saddle and all your horse gear in the back end behind the third row of seats. If you need a little more room, you push the button in the back when you're loading stuff up and it automatically lowers down the third row of seats left or right or both. You can even flip down the second row from the back, but that's not as fancy, it's just sort of a release button and boom, they fall down. I can absolutely see using a vehicle like this for that lifestyle. Perhaps somebody who goes racing on the weekends. You can tow your GT4, 
to the track. You can get fairly decent mileage doing it and arrive there refreshed, massaged, comfort, go racing, load everything back up in the trailer and cushy ride yourself back home. Complaints. There's got to be some, right? Ford Sync. Nice touch screen right here. It works great. Um, just like all the current Sync generation stuff does. But look at that screen. You got all this real estate, you know. Maybe a little bigger screen would be good. Has auto stop start, but there's a defeat button right there. Love that. Thank you, Ford. I don't really know what else. Ford is really focusing their time and energy on trucks and it shows. It really does. I don't know that I would say the Expedition Max is a masterpiece, but wow, it's pretty damn good. <laughs>